I'm just warning you, this video is gonna suck. But you have been asking me to show you the crazy stuff that's going on in Budapest during winter. So be careful of what you wish for. Mm -hmm. There will be excessive drinking. If you prefer a more hands-on party and travel guide, I'd recommend watching this one instead. It's way better. Anyways, let's do this. Winter weekend in Budapest. Ah, oh, Budapest. Hungary's proud, more than a thousand-year-old capital, bursting with history and bewildering monuments of the past. But for the young crowd, this place is famous for a whole other reason. I know, right? No appreciation of culture and history. But it looks kind of fun. Let's try a weekend of party in Budapest, shall we? Staying hydrated is key. You want to be fully prepared and make the best of your time once the plane touches ground in Europe's third hottest party destination. And don't even think of going to sleep. Wake up, Ola. W wake up, it's time for a drink, Ola. Ooh. Sure, traveling can be torture, but vodka and a painkiller will make all that weariness go away. Back on track. All party tourists end up in District 7, and all will walk through this passage. Some of them will see a girl dancing in a bikini and think, let's go in. Be better than that. You have way superior options in this city. This bar is easily one of my top 10 in the whole world. Well, really, it's more of a collection of different bars under one roof. Artsy, ludicrous and always changing its appearance. It's simply hard not to have a good time here. And drinks? Strong and cheap. Be prepared to stay up late. Real party doesn't kick in until after midnight. And if sun is not up when you leave the club, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Budapest can get really cold during winter, killing some of that will to explore. But if you're staying in the city center, you'll be virtually surrounded by cool historical stuff, all within walking distance. Don't forget to sample some local junk food. What you do you in? You never know what you'll get. What, what did you just do? What is this? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like a hollow baguette. No filling. Mm. Loaded with sugar. Be prepared to get knocked down by history. People sure knew how to build back in the days. Buda, the other half of the city, is easily accessible by tram. You don't even have to get out of it to enjoy the view. Eating is cheap here. Good shit. And they do actually serve real food too. 
perhaps your best bargain in Budapest. Get that hair done. Pro service for $10. Now that's a good haircut. Party is good and fun, but this is what you'll actually remember from this visit. Budapest is loaded with hot springs and this bath is the largest and perhaps best in Europe. It's bath time. It's time to take the bath time. There is something utterly primal about stepping out from the cold winter air into the warm embrace of 70 degree water. A bathhouse visit simply doesn't get better than this. You'll stay in for hours, but... Once you get out of the water, it's freaking cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold! Just stay below the surface. So this bathhouse stays open until at least 7 and often even later. And as the evening comes creeping, a pre-party vibe starts building up. Take one last look of this magnificent city after dark, ride the ferry's wheel, or even strap on a pair of skates. Then party. It's time to squeeze Budapest for all it has left. And tonight, we'll go dancing. This ruin bar and nightclub is usually the first tourist hero, and it's still one of the best. I've never seen anyone get kicked out of these places, ever. As long as you're buying drinks, you're safe. About now, you'll start thinking about calling in sick to work, extending that trip to a full week. Video is over, but don't despair, cause so is winter as well, according to Swedish Gringo Time. That means a lot of new Brazil materials, starting out with Ilha Bela, east of Sao Paulo. <laughs> this is gonna be a good couple of months coming up. Take care guys.